Hello YouTube friends, it's Hermit Rider, and today I have sort of an unboxing video of the Terra de Masse kit by Mary Packard. This kit it was purchased at my local Books A Million a couple weeks ago. I don't think it's still in stock in the store, but it is still available on their website as of September 5th, 2019, and I will post a link to that in the comments below. I believe this is also available, albeit in French, by the French publisher, whose name I can't remember right now, but if I can find a link for that, I'll post it as well. This version is in a box similar to the Golden Tarot. And this version is also published by Sweetwater Press, and it retails for $24.95, which is what I paid for it in store. I think it came out to $26.45 US after tax. I've already removed the plastic. I did try to film a previous version that was a true unboxing, and the sound of the plastic was pretty... Uh, not nice to listen to of the box and the plastic surrounding the cards and then I dropped both the box and my tripod so I decided to try again it's a flip top box with a magnetic closure the box top is captive so this will look nice on a bookshelf we have the 144 page guidebook. With a little bit of a blurb on the back. Mary Packard wrote the guidebook. The card illustrations were done by Rachel Close. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And the forward for the book is by Robert M. Place. The book is in color. The majors have large pictures. The minors have slightly smaller pictures. Except for the quartz. I've heard mixed reviews on this book, but I have not read it yet, so I will reserve judgment until I've done so. In the box we also have a black velvet pouch, and it feels like there's something in the pouch, and there is, and that would be a looks like a spread cloth. Which is actually not horribly sized. Looks like it's some type of sateen or something like that. And some packing material to keep everything sta stable. And we have the deck itself, and wow, these cards are big. By comparison, on the left is my deck, my Madinier deck from Terre de Masse Heritage. And here on the right is the Mary Packard version. So you can see there's quite the size difference. My understanding is that these cards are true to the original size, the Masse Heritage Edition. These are oversized versus what the original deck was. My guess is that these are about the same size as her Golden Tarot Visconti Sforza cards. 
which I believe are true to the original size of the original 1400s version of the Visconti's Forza. So I've already done a walkthrough of the Magnier deck, so I'm not going to go through all of these cards. But I will look for the trumps, the majors, and go through those. So at a glance, it looks like the colors are slightly more faded than on my other version of the Magnier. It looks like there's also a bit of faux antiquing in the background. I'm not sure how I feel about that. The cardstock is all right. It's pretty bendy. I don't know that, given how large these are, how well they'll hold their shape. I don't do bridge shuffling or riffle shuffling anymore with my tarot decks, so hopefully they won't warp too badly. The backs are different from the reproduction deck. This, I believe, is what the original backs looked like. These are probably flourishes from one of the pips. They're kind of pretty, honestly. So here's the full. There's the juggler, the magician. And there's the papist. And I have on the left the Terra de Mas and Heritage. And you can see the colors are much deeper on the left. It looks like this version from Packard and Close may have cleaned up some of the lines a little bit. There's a few splotches on her crown on here. Those don't appear on there. But the colors on this are definitely richer. It looks like there's more distinction between the green and the blue on the Packard version. This looks almost blue here, and that's blue. You can barely tell that that's green. So, I will say I'm happy that the image on the Packard version does not seem to be distorted. If they upsized it, that was my fear was that the image would be, would look a little warped or distorted, but they did a nice job of increasing the size of the image. And you've got the Empress, the Emperor, the Pope, the Lover, the Chariot, Justice, the Hermit. That card looks good. The Wheel of Fortune, the Force or Strength, the Hanged Man, Death looks very faded, his colors are very washed out, I don't know if that's deliberate for the card or just meant to make it look older, Temperance, the Devil, House of God, or the Tower. Some decks call it the Lightning. The Star. The Moon. The Sun. Judgment. And 
finally the world. So there you have it, the Mary Packard version of the Pierre Martinier Tarot de Marseille. I hope you've enjoyed this sort of unboxing and mini walkthrough. And if you have a preference on these decks, or if you've had experience reading with this particular kit, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.